Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is Joseph here, back for another LEGO Star Wars video here today. And today I'm going to be going over every LEGO Star Wars set that is rumored to be retiring in 2021. Huge shout out to Brick Foundation for the information on these sets. Let's get right into the rumors, shall we? Before I get into today's video though guys, I just want to give out a reminder that I am doing a free LEGO Star Wars set giveaway at 1000 subs. It's either going to be a 501st Battle Pack or an AAT, depending on what the winner chooses. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Starting out today's video, the ATST Raider from the Mandalorian that was released in 2019 is rumored to retire in 2021. Pretty good set, I'm not going to lie, the first ever Mandalorian set, so make sure you guys get a bunch of these if you're looking to invest. The minifigures obviously include Cara Dune, the two Clutunian Raiders, and the Mandalorian, the OG Mandalorian that does not have Beskar armor, so this is a pretty good set. I would recommend buying a few of these, and uh, kind of a shame that we have to see it go, but it is what it is, I guess. Now, as far as online deals go for this set, I wasn't able to actually find any that had any clearance or anything like that, so you're going to have to pay 50 bucks for this online. But if you go to your local Walmart or Target, I imagine you could find this item in the clearance section. I was able to find this for $40 at one Target and then $45 at a Walmart, so please make sure to go check your local stores, I guess, for a better deal. Now, the next set that is going to be retiring in 2021 is the Sith Troopers Battle Pack from Rise of Skywalker. Pretty cool battle pack, I'm not going to lie. Even if you don't like the movie, the troopers are pretty cool, and it's definitely a very unique battle pack and one that I would also recommend investing into, so make sure you get a couple of these before they go. As far as clearance goes for this set, you can get it at Amazon for $3 off, so that's a decent deal, I guess, and, you know, I would recommend getting a few of these, if I'm being honest. Pretty good set, I'm not going to lie. Moving forward, we also have the TIE Dagger or Sith TIE Fighter that is also supposed to be retiring in 2021. Pretty good set, I'm not going to lie. Um, definitely very unique and one that LEGO might only release once. You know, one of those one-time, one-off sets like maybe the Ghost or something like that. Maybe LEGO will remake the Ghost, I don't know. But it's definitely a very unique set and one that I wouldn't expect LEGO to make in a very long time. So be sure to get one of these if you don't have one already. Now, when it comes to clearance or any online deals, the best you're going to be able to find this set for is $79.95 at Walmart, and the retail price is $79.99, so really you're just paying retail for it, but I guess you might save $0.04 cents or something, I don't know. There might be some local store deals that help you, I haven't actually seen any, but you just have to search for those, I guess. Now, the next LEGO Star Wars set that is supposed to be retiring in 2021 is the 4 Plus Snowspeeder. This is actually the first set on today's video that I do not own, so I guess I don't really have too much to say about it. If you're younger, maybe this is a set for you, or if, you know, you're a full collector and want to have every set from a certain wave, you might also want this, but I'm not really too sure how good this set is, but it's a 4 Plus, so not that interested for me, at least. And if you guys are looking for some clearance on the set, you can actually get it for $4 off for $15.99 on Amazon, so if you want to make a good deal, you can go ahead and get it there. The next set on today's video is Dio here. This is another Rise of Skywalker set, and it's one that I actually don't own as well. And it's one that I actually am interested in owning, because I like the model and I do like Dio, even if he's not a very memorable character. This build's pretty nice, and I'm certainly looking into this one. Now for some good clearance deals on Dio, you can actually get some really good ones at Walmart.com. He retails for 70 bucks, but right now I saw him at $58.32. Now this price might fluctuate, and Brick Foundation's video it was like $57, so the price may change depending on the time of day or just, you know, whenever you want to buy this thing. But this is one set that I'm actually looking into, and it's one that I actually would kind of like to own, so I might buy this actually. Next up, the final set rumored to be retiring in 2021 is the Revenge of the Sith Duel on Mustafar set. At 20 bucks with two solid minifigures and a good job of portraying the actual duel. It's a pretty good set and I would really recommend this to anyone. And obviously I do own this one. I do like it a lot. And if you are looking to pick up this set last second for a good deal, I would definitely recommend going to Amazon where you can get it for $4 off at $15.99. Again, some of these prices might change, but right now that's the best deal I can find for it. So really Amazon's a good place to find some clearance. And, you know, like I said earlier, it's a really good set and I would really recommend it to anyone. And with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up the list of all the LEGO Star Wars rumored sets to retire in 2021. There's some pretty good ones, I'm not going to lie, and it leads me to ask you guys, are you guys going to pick up any of these sets before they retire? If so, please let me know down in the comments. I'm personally probably going to look into getting the DO set, as it has, you know, $10 off on Rama right now, and I do like the set and the character, so that's a pretty good set if you ask me. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Again, thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time on JT Bricks.